Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to introduce you to the latest addition to the Photoshop family, Generative Fill. This AI-powered tool is a game changer for designers and photographers alike, making complex object removal, image extension, and background generation with its remarkable realism. But that's not all. I have some surprises in store for you that will showcase the true potential of this tool. So let's dive in without any further delay and witness the magic of Generative Fill. To get started, open Creative Cloud Desktop and navigate to the Beta Apps section. From there, select and install the Photoshop Beta. The installation process takes around 5 minutes. After that, you can open the software and begin exploring its new features. Okay, after opening a new page in Photoshop, here you'll see some information about the Generative Fill, which is the new feature in Photoshop. The Generative Fill simplifies the process of removing unwanted elements from your image, adding new things, or making any change you want. Just by typing the desired changes and clicking on the Generate button, the AI handles the rest for you. Okay, let's test this AI tool and see what we can create together. So I'll upload a photo from my computer. Well, now you will see a new taskbar at the bottom. If you don't have it, simply activate the contextual taskbar from the window tab. To start editing this image, I remove the background and use the crop tool to enlarge the image frame. But be careful, it's crucial to make sure that delete cropped pixels is unchecked. Next, I select the empty areas around the edges of the image, making sure to include a small portion of the image within the selection. And then I click on the Generative Fill tool. At this point, I can choose to enter a custom prompt in the designated box to generate an image based on specific parameters or I can leave it blank to generate an image based on the overall style and theme of the picture. I simply leave it blank. Let's take a look at the results. As you can see, the image has been extended beautifully, and we have three alternate options to choose from. Now let's remove something from the image. For example, I want to remove the logo from the fuel tank of the motorcycle. Simply, I use the lasso tool to select the logo and click on the Generate button without entering any specific prompts. Okay, the logo has been removed cleanly and precisely, without disrupting the reflection of the light on the fuel tank or the shadows. Next, let's change the design of the light. Again, using the lasso tool, I select the light and click on the Generate button without entering any specific prompts. Well, now we can choose from any of the alternate options provided. Okay, let's remove another thing. In the background of the image, there is a car that I don't like it. So I quickly remove it by selecting it and clicking on the Generate button. This tool is so intelligent that it accurately reproduces the shade of the canopy on the ground, even after removing the car from the image. Okay, as you can see, on the right side, a new layer was created for every applied change, allowing for editing or deletion in the future. In the continuation of this video, I'm going to do some more interesting examples for you. I will put the video on fast speed so that you can see the different examples very quickly.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date on the latest advancements in artificial intelligence. We are committed to bringing you the best and most current information on AI. See you in our next video.